Welcome to my uh, weekly update of what's been happening here at Parliament and indeed uh, in Edinburgh South. This week's been completely dominated by House of Lords amendments that come back to the House of Commons in a process called ping pong. The House of Lords of course can revise legislation going through the processes uh, of that chamber. Those amendments then come back for the House to vote on. We voted for three and a half hours on Monday night, 18 huge amendments to the illegal uh, migration uh, bill, um, all of them defeated by the government. This is what they would call the Stop the Boats Bill, is illegal in international law. It simply won't work and is going after the people in the boats rather than the people who are illegally trafficking people across uh, the channel. There is no way uh, that the government can meet uh, what they're trying to do, but we all know they're doing this for votes and they're not doing it to try and help the immigration system or indeed the people who are seeking uh, sanctuary. Mortgages, of course, are still uh, in the news this week. The Bank of England said uh, this week that the average mortgage could go up by yet another £500 a month every month between now and 2026 before interest rates start to fall. Uh, that's just completely unaffordable and, and our post bag is full of people who are renters with landlords with mortgages or mortgages themselves who simply can't afford it. In the constituency, it's been great. We've had Leanne, Richard and Jack Farmer cycling John O'Groats to Land's End, or is it Land's End to John O'Groats? They went up the hill um, to raise money for a Bridge End farmhouse. £5,000 they've raised, so congratulations to them and we'll be presenting them with a Community Hero Award uh, later on uh, in the summer. Uh, and indeed, the continued fundraising for Bridge End because they lost their Scottish Government uh, funding. Um, it was great to see Grace Mount Funday and indeed the, more, the Morden uh, uh, Carnival uh, last uh, Friday as well. They went off brilliantly and thoroughly enjoyed by both the participants and everyone uh, who attended. We've had uh, lots of information this week on the Drum uh, and Todd Hills uh, development, 3,500 to 5,500 new homes um, on the south of the city. We all know the problems with GP, GPs, dentists, traffic, schools, permeability, shops, you name it. Uh, none of this resolves any of those problems. So we'll be working very hard on that to see how we can possibly get to a situation where we do build better places, which has been the campaign we've been running for two years. Uh, and uh, finally, there's a communal bin review. How exciting is that? Make sure you get onto the Facebook page, find out what that's all about, and, and have your say on the council reorganising your communal bins. See you next week.